Hey there, I'm Garrett from the BYU Software Training Lab, and today we're going to be going over how to import and organize your media within Adobe Premiere Pro. Firstly, we'll be using the newest version of Premiere Pro, which was released in May of 2022. Starting a new project opens up the Import menu. In the very top left, we can set the project name, which I will call Hubble, and its save location. This screen serves as a way to choose what videos or images will be imported for your project. Treat this like your regular file explorer on your computer. You can find files from your desktop, from your documents, from your music, etc. This screen also provides a number of features to help you select the media that you need. I can favorite and unfavorite a location using this button here to make it easily accessible in the toolbar on the left. Click here to switch between a list view and a grid view and use the slider next to them to adjust their size. At the top we can search for file names as well as filter by specific file types. For example, if I want to search for the Horsehead Nebula, there it is. Using this button here we can filter for only certain file types such as videos, audio, or images. Also, you'll note that swiping over video clips gives you a small preview of the video. As you click on files to be added, you'll see them appear in the bottom bar. While they're here, you can click on them to select them and right click to remove them from this, which is called clear. You can also use backspace to remove them. All right, I'm going to select all of the files that I want. I'm going to hold shift and I'll select everything in my in my folder here. And on the right, we have some import settings that we need to keep in mind. Copy media is an important thing that you might want to use in order to consolidate all of your media in one place. When you select media to be added to your project in Premiere, you are only making a link to these files, not embedding them in the project itself. Copy Media makes a copy of each file and keeps it next to your project file so it's easy to be organized. I'm going to leave it off though. The next option is called Bins. Bins are Premiere's version of folders for all your media. This will create a bin for all of the selected media in Premiere's media browser, which we'll see in just a minute. I can turn it on and give this folder a name. Lastly. The Sequence option can be used to jumpstart your project. If you leave it turned on, Premiere will automatically place all of the files you've selected down on the timeline. This can sometimes be helpful, but I'm not sure where I want my files to be in my video yet, so I'll leave it off. Once we've got all the files we want, we'll click Import or Create to move to the Edit space. Keep in mind we can always return to the Import tab to bring new media in. If you're on an older version of Premiere, this is more similar to what you'd be seeing, and I'll show you how to import media. You can either double click in a blank spot on the project panel, such as here, which will open up your file explorer, and you can add any files you want from here. Or you can go up to File, Import, which also has the keyboard shortcut Control, or if you're on a Mac, Command I, which will bring up the same option. Here in the project panel, we can also create bins by clicking on this folder icon in the bottom right. I can name this Space Imagery. And now with that folder created, I can start to move different assets into this folder. This is really helpful just to keep all of your media organized, especially if you have multiple different scenes in your video. Great! With all of our files here, we can start to use them in our timeline. In the next video, we'll go over how to navigate the Premiere interface.